Hello and welcome back. As promised, here is a video with more examples for which you can use the darken blend mode. If you have not watched my darken blend mode video, a link will be in the description. So let's get started. Here is an image where the sky and the sea color are not in harmony. We can apply a darken blend mode with the color from the sea combined with a curves layer to get this effect. What I will do is to add a rectangle and apply a gradient. The end color I will set to white and next I will hide it so I can select a begin color from which I can now pick from the C. About here looks good and I will apply this as the begin color. I want the upper part to be darker, so I will add a point to the gradient and set this to our selected color. The begin color I will make darker using the HSL wheel. Once I have my gradient set up the way I like, I will set the blend mode to darken. This of course looks crappy, but by using the blend ranges and lowering the highlights from the underlaying layer, we get a perfect blend. Let's have a look at the before and the after. I think the after looks much better. To give a bit more contrast to the clouds, I'm going to add a curves layer just above the image layer. I will just apply a brightening curve. To make sure it only applies to the clouds in the sky, again I will use the blend ranges to filter out the darker areas. Excellent, this looks pretty good. We have made the sky color fit better with the sea and we have given a bit more contrast to the clouds. Let's have a look of another use of the darken blend mode. Here's an image I used recently in the 10 second retouch video. As you might notice, there is some harsh shine in the face. Using a layer with a darken blend mode we can reduce it like this. Let's have a look how we can achieve this. First, let's create an empty pixel layer. On this pixel layer, I will paint with colors which I will sample from areas in the face which have no shine. Once all the areas with the shine are painted over, I will now change the blend mode of this pixel layer to darken. By default, this looks a bit off, but if we lower the opacity of the layer, we can blend it in. Optionally, I can also modify the blend range of the pixel layer for a better blend in. Now, with the correct blend mode and the opacity, I can fix issues and fine tune it. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Definitely an improvement. This is also a very good use case of the darken blend mode. In the final example, I will show how we can use the darken blend mode to create amazing color grades using a lab mode curve adjustment. Let me start by adding a curves adjustment and setting its mode to lab. To understand what is happening, let me enable a layer with the A and B component colors. Also important to know that the middle of the curve in the lab mode is the neutral part. This is why the curve is, as you see, center based. So if we work with the A component, the left side of the curve will represent the amount of green. By moving the left point to the center, we increase the green. By moving the left point to the top, we decrease the green, which in turn adds more magenta to it. 
The same applies to the right point. Moving it towards the center will increase the magenta and lowering it will decrease the magenta, which result in having more green on the image. Exactly the same applies to the B component, but instead of green and magenta, blue and a darkish brownish yellow is used. So changing the points on the left increases or decreases the blue. When blue is decreased, more of the yellow shows true. Same with the yellow, decreasing it will show more blue. After this short introduction to the lab mode in curves, let's go back to the A component and decrease the green. As this adds more magenta to it, it generates this nice warm glow in the image, which in itself is a bit too much. But if we change the blend mode to darken, look how cool this looks. The sky looks now amazing. If we go to the B component and increase the yellows, this creates a beautiful effect. The beach also gets a very nice brownish color. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Combining the dark mode with a lab curves layer generates very interesting colors in an image, especially if you're looking in darkening your image in an artistic way. Other darkening blend modes like multiply and color burn do not work very well. So this is another good use case of the darken mode. Let me experiment a bit further with the curves layer. I hope you liked this video and hopefully it has given you some inspiration and ideas how the darken blend mode can be used. Thanks again for watching.